Lesson number three, pivot points. Hi, I'm Stratman. I'm uh, the software programmer for pipware.com and today I'm going to try and explain a bit about how pivot points are calculated and, and how useful they are for your trading. Unfortunately, pivot points can be quite confusing uh, when you come to apply them because there are so many different uh, methods for calculating them out there. Uh, some of the methods that come to mind are uh, Fibonacci, uh, Daily Pivots, uh, Caramilla, Woody's Pivots, there's, there's, there's a whole host of them. What we need to do is determine what's the most applicable calculation for our particular style of trading. So your style might be different to mine, so I'm going to go over a few of these different types of uh, uh, pivot point calculations so you can see what the differences are and how we might apply them. Okay, for a start, pivot points are typically calculated based on a previous candle for a time period. Typically the daily time frame, which is what this is, or the weekly, or the monthly. And the way it works is that if I go back to the daily time frame, the way it works is that we want to get a heads up on what might be our support and resistance points for today. This is today's candle. This is yesterday's candle, and we're going to try and get that information based on the previous day's candle. Now, the way, the reason these pivot points work so well is, I guess that it's such a well-known thing within the uh, forex community that it's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy. So people calculate their pivot points, they work based on them during the current day session, and price action tends to operate based on what has been calculated. Therefore people start using it more and more and hello it kind of just ends up that the pivot points um, is a self-fulfilling prophecy like I said. What do we need to calculate the pivot points that we're going to use for the next day? Well for today we're going to need to know yesterday detail about yesterday. If you hover over the close of a candle on MetaTrader you'll get all the information about that particular candle. So this candle's open, high, low and close um, we can use to calculate pivot points for today's session. The traditional method for just daily pivots is based around the, the close and the open and high. And if I switch over to another um, screen here, there's some, some um, brokers will actually provide you what they think the current pivot points are. These pivot points are based on a day starting at midnight GMT zero and finishing at midnight GMT zero. So they would take the the uh, the close, the low and the high. So here's the high, the low and the close. They'd add all those values together of the previous day's uh, price action and divide it by three and get a figure for the pivot. And then they'd go and place it down here. So obviously they do this every day automatically and provide a table for it. And then there's a, a value for a support one and resistance one, which is very important points. Uh, and they're calculated by once you know the pivot value, you grab the pivot value, multiply it by two and subtract the low and the support is exactly the same except for you subtract the high. This particular website gives you the ability to take your own platform's values and place them into this, these boxes here and calculate out what yours are. I'm going to do that based on like I said, I'm hovering over this yesterday's candle and I'm going to punch those values of high, low and close and get my answer. I'll do that uh, off screen so that um, it's quick. Okay, I've got the values in there and what I expect is because my broker time zone, and my, my daily candles start at GMT0 and finish on GMT0, so midnight to midnight, I expect my values to uh, come out pretty much the same for today's pivots. For Euro USD, so we hit the send button. We've got some values come up here, so let's check the daily pivot 4382. Uh, down here, the pivot is 438. Um, we're pretty damn close. You've got to remember that my price feed from my MetaTrader broker will be a little bit different than the price feed for, for this broker here, so uh, there will be slight differences. Let's just check the R1 point 1.4429. Uh, 1.4426. Look, we're we're just so damn close. But you just have to take that into account that that um, you will get slight discrepancies based on the price feed that you have from your particular broker. Also, your broker might have a different GMT 
uh, time zone. So your daily candle might not start at uh, GMT zero. So you might have to make an adjustment uh, for that. But if you t calculated by putting the values in here, you'd be fine. Okay, so we've got our values. Now we kind of need to display them on the chart. And so to do that, what I like to do is use uh, use off the THB thread on Forex Factory. I've got Trader at Home here. He's uh, done a post and he's made some changes to this wonderful pivot indicator that, that we use uh, on the Forex Factory. Uh, uh, for the THB thread that is for um, trading. And this this one here I'll just add to my chart. I've just downloaded it. Let's just have a quick look at what that looks like. So basically we're using the day formula and if I switch down to H1 what we get to see is yes the uh, 1.4382 has been calculated as my daily pivot based on the previous candle. I'm just going to zoom out a bit so that you can see a few more candles because I've just gone down to the one hour time frame and obviously one full day this is this is the uh, start of the the first that's 22, there's 23, there's, there's the 0, 0. So there's the start of the day. So this low here and this high up here and the close of the day which would have been here is, uh, is what's been used to calculate this pivot. And then we've got the resistance 1 and S1 calculated as well. Now what use are these points? Well I can tell you that if you go back to the very start of the when the euro came into existence uh, which is quite quite a number of years now almost 10 years that if you calculated the daily pivot values s1 and r1 um, for the next day from the previous day and you did that the next day and looked at this current day so on and so on and so on it has absolutely been proven that on average, if you took the average values over that whole time, that the day high for the current day typically will be within one pip of these two values. So um, that's quite interesting. Like it's not a guarantee that that's going to happen today, but what I'm saying is that on average, if you took it over years and years, that the average actually ends up being within one pip of R1 and S1. So they are very significant support and resistance points that we need to be aware of. Okay, so that being said, um, if we look at a daily candle then, um, so based on this daily candle, today could potentially be a larger day because we take into account the high and the low and the close. So that's how the daily pivots are calculated, the, the traditional sense. Now if we drag this down, we get the, the D, the R2 and the R3. These become quite important points as well. Now, that's why we use them. Um, they are just respected by, by traders all over the world. And typically another point to note is that if the price opens above the daily pivot on one chart, the movement for the day is considered to normally be long. If the price opens below the daily pivot, the movement for the day is considered to be short. So uh, there's some other points of view that are there as well. Now we need to just very quickly look at the possibility of um, the other types like Fibonacci pivots. If you just hold on a sec, I'll just get set up. So I've just gone uh, back to the site and now we're calculating them as Fibonacci pivot points. And as you can see, the pivot point calculation is exactly the same, the high plus the low plus the close divided by three, but the values for R1, R2 and R3 are based on Fibonacci numbers, which are the 38.2, 61.8% and the 100%. So if I calculate those out, these are the values we get. And if we go back to our chart and we change our indicator we can decide whether we're going to be using the day formula or Fibonacci formula. I've changed it to false to use the Fibonacci formula and I'm going to go back down to H1 and there we go there's the Fibonacci pivots shown. So the daily pivot is exactly the same but the uh, the the resistance 1, resistance 2 and resistance 3 are calculated by Fibonacci numbers instead. So there we go there's our lesson on daily pivots and how they're calculated. Just be mindful that most people at the moment are calculating their pivots on daily candles that start at midnight GMT to to uh, midnight GMT the next day and uh, we use the open 
the, the close, the high and the low of the previous day to calculate some possible support and resistance points. Okay, this is Stratman from Pipware.com.